there, internet, Magua here, coming at you with yet another Legends of Runeterido for guys today. And today is day one of the brand new expansion, and we are Team Gwen, as I just absolutely love the champion design. I can't wait to try out Kaisa and Evelyn, but I really, really want to try out Gwen first, and I got Snip Snip, which is a Gwen Quinn deck that is utilizing Grand Plaza. Like I mentioned in my reaction video, that's one of the first things that popped in my head, as I believe the synergy between Grand Plaza and Hallowed could potentially be really strong, not only because of the direct synergy with Strike Up the Band, right? In case you don't know, uh, Strike Up the Band is a new spell that spawns two ghastly bands. Ghastly bands are ephemerals and Hallowed, right? So it's not only because we can essentially use what is, uh, 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 what is basically another copy of like, ancient or haunted relic or like the ghost riders you know basically a slow speed spell that spawns ephemerals right like that works well with grand plaza because we can use those ephemerals to trade into something but it goes beyond that the reason why i really want to try out gwen first with grand plaza is because when we give units challenger that in conjunction with uh hallowed or hallowed <laughs> i'm not really sure if i'm you right that combined with hallowed actually makes it so that your challengers are extremely powerful at least one of them every round is right like you're able to just trade into something get the boost from the hallowed units that died prior and just take down whatever right and the great thing like what i really used like the reason why i chose i didn't chose quinn as a champion just to get cheeky here like there's a very legit argument for it and uh, i want to try to my best to uh, explain it without rambling too much so this deck essentially has a trifecta synergy as i like to label it you know it, because it's easier in my mind and what i mean by this is that there's synergies with the challengers from grand plaza onto the hallowed but there's also synergy with the scouts in the deck and they and they kind of like reinforce each other right scouts with challenger that's a great keyword combination taking into account stuff like grizzled ranger i can go with grizzled ranger with grand plaza and i can dive it into something dead as it dies we spawn the loyal badger bear which also gets the plus uh, the plus the plus the plus one power boost on on to the three power going up to four power and challenger so i get to challenge something again the synergy between grizzled ranger and scout uh, sorry grizzled ranger and grand plaza has always been there and it's it's always been there with other scouts as well but now it goes even further because now when i play that grizzled ranger with challenger we also get that extra insane attack boost which means we get to kill like whatever we want and then the same applies for our next attack because with our scouts we get to attack twice which means we get to trigger the hallow twice which means we get to make use of those boosts twice which is why we have some like which may seem random like a one off of bright steel protector but the barrier from this and golden agus can go a long way with our hallowed as we are able to give it onto a frail unit and thus make use of that power boost that we gain from hallowed twice in a round so that's essentially what we're doing with this deck we have a grand plaza deck that functions with multiple attacks friends rallies through many different angles right like not only the golden agus and the tiana crown guard that we got at the end here but also cat Cataclysm onto a scout as well, which we have just enough of. As we got card draw with Glints Beyond, uh, we're playing stuff like Fading Icon instead of the two mana Butler. Because even though the butler is, I mean, it's it's all right. It's a little bit underwhelming, like a, a two mana three one. Even though it, it contributes to uh, hallowed, the fact that I can get pinged by so many things is not really great. And I think fading icon does a lot more for the deck because it works really well with Grand Plaza. First of all, as it gives us two bodies with Challenger, and it also gives us fodder for Glimpse Beyond as well, which is really. Uh, key we have conductor of the mist which gives us ghastly bands on top of the ones that we generate from strike up the band we have a one-off of formal invitation for a little bit of extra card draw for games that drag out quite a bit and then of course we got gwen and our main uh card to disrupt what our opponent is doing is concerted strike outside of the combat phase because in the combat phase we're pretty dominant right so i i think concerted strike is a great addition because it helps us level up gwen as we can use it to strike with her and uh, it is a very, very reliable source of removal. We have just enough size on the board, especially with the power boost from Grand Plaza, to effectively disrupt and, and destroy anything. Again, like I said, outside of the combat phase, because once we are in combat, we are extremely powerful, man. Like the conjunction of Hallowed with our challengers, the ability for us to control the board, get the exchanges uh, or the trades that we want, and then just keep uh, going at it. Eternal Dancers is actually better than I anticipated because I forgot to really focus on the fact that she can revive champions. 
Like, she revives champions, and that's insane. If you manage to level up, leveling up Gwen has to be one of your primary priorities here, because once you do so, you can resurrect her with Eternal Dancers, get that boost with the Hallowed that she gets anyways. Um, I just realized... I just realized I, I may have misplayed in this uh, in this video because uh, this this just came to mind. So you know I'm, I'm gonna make use of this next thing. I, I I rushed into recording this because I didn't get early access, so I had to like record as early as I as the patch hit. So I think I derped, you know. So so you know, uh, forgive me because I I believe I forgot uh, during the recording. I forgot about uh, Gwen's ability to um, to gain hallowed. And, uh, on top of another ally. So there are definitely scenarios in which I've attacked with Gwen first. And that, that should never be the case. Like, you should always attack her with her second because she gains the boost from Hallowed anyways, right? So I think I derped with that. Now it's just coming to, to mind. <laughs> I think I done goofed. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, there may be some misplays with that. I just, you know, I literally just started playing the card and I, I, I kind of forgot about that little detail. So uh, the deck did bonkers anyway so it just, just goes to show right what we're messing with here so uh yeah that makes me kind of sad but I, I don't like misplayed heavily on my videos but yeah it, I, I was in a bit of a rush so hopefully you guys don't mind um besides that uh you know we got sharp sight for a little bit of uh you know extra you know boost alongside ranger's resolve because we have a lot of one health units so we don't want to be too accessible to pings and um we can also uh block into elusives as well and that is my first take on gwen uh not by any means going to be the best gwen deck out there it's too early to even start saying that uh, but i think it's a very very fun approach and definitely the synergies are there i don't know how far this deck is from being fully optimized but these synergies are definitely there and there's a lot of promise in this archetype and more important like more than anything it just felt extremely fun uh quinn felt felt really reliable here even though grand plaza with quinn may seem a bit redundant because you get uh, the challenger on valor already it still is definitely worth it and she puts in a lot of work with what we're doing here and i've even had scenarios in which i revive her with eternal dancers which just feels leveled up which just feels absolutely crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop rambling though. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy today's games. I I think uh, I think you will honestly. Like this is some of the most fun I've had in a while. So it's a great way to start things off. Sorry for the potential misplays with Gwen because I just I don't even know if I made. That. I'm pretty sure I did. But uh, just just letting you know. And uh, hopefully you enjoy this deck as much as I did, man. And uh, let me know which champion you'd like to see tomorrow. Do we want to prioritize Kaisa or Evelyn, or do we want to combine them both? I'm more inclined to always like give each champion. A individually their own spotlight but uh you guys can let me know in the comment section what you want to see and that's basically where i'm gonna stop rambling thank you guys for watching thank you for daily legends of Runeterra content we are back with the new cards ladies and gentlemen and we got a lot of decks to build and we got a lot to do so we're just getting started love ya enjoy the matches i'll see you tomorrow all right here we go azir irelia is our first opponent kind of sucks that i didn't start recording earlier because i just like I just had great games against Kaisa and Evelyn, but I was playtesting. And now we run into regular junk. All right. Well, we got Gwen in here, but I'm actually going to go for a full mulligan, I believe, because I want to find that Grand Plaza. That Grand Plaza can be very important. We got a nice curve with the Plaza if we do draw into it. If not, we're just going to have to cry every time. There it is. You know the uh, the band card would be really neat. I forgot I forgot the name. Like the three mana spell that would be a great topic now. And I believe okay didn't believe enough. Shurima never fell. It only awaited my return. So down it goes Azir. We've got sharp side there, which is neat. Playing Gwen is actually. What I'm inclined for here, because I can work for the level Hang up. Hang on, yeah. Ball. Hey. This is a chance for me to leave my mark. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting Oh, holy crap. Let's move. It is time. They could have a um, yeah, shape stone. Hang on. 
get the hollowed boost though. Attacking with that into that. We Demacians are no easy play. With the Hallow Death, I can I can threaten Azir immediately. All in the shoulders. You're easy to track. I should have uh, done it the other way around, actually. I, I, I missed on one damage <laughs> because of that. We have Cataclysm. We have Cataclysm that we can use. Do not see what is. See what will be. Okay, they can play that. Slow down, will you? Come on, you big grouch. Everything's better with company. Says you. Now we play Cataclysm onto the onto the Azir with the Grizzled Ranger here. We get the boost from the Hallowed from Gwen, which allows us to trade into Azir here. Beautiful, beautiful. We trade into you, take the hit. Beautiful. Actually, no need. Scouting ahead. Yep. We're not done yet. Justice takes flight. <laughs> <laughs> so much for Gwen in the thumbnail. <laughs> we got a, we got a Quen show, ladies and gentlemen. But really, like, I'm I'm happy to lead off with this video because uh, with with this match, I mean, because it's actually like I want to showcase that you know the deck is built around Graham Plaza. But all of its components function well. Like, you don't need to draw. Like, we didn't get much of the Hallowed game plan this first match. But we don't... Like, the deck functions strongly on its own. And we got the uh, we got the Golden Aegis here, so we just go for an open attack. <laughs> I don't know what threat these are. But we hunted the shit out of them. We're safe. For now. Let's go another one. Alright. Gwen on Gwen. Some scissor action. That's... Sounds awful. All right, let's uh, actually. Jeez, this is a decent curve, but again, you want to mulligan aggressively for the Grand Plaza. The Grand Plaza changes everything. This deck benefits significantly from it, and uh, we we mulligan aggressively for it, even sacrificing. We have a decent curve that can. It's not hard for us to find. We're we're low on two drops, right? But we make that up for uh, Conductor of the Mist. Here gives us. A ghastly band upon dying, and we can use the high power stat with the five uh, power with the grand plaza to challenge into something. This is just fun, man. This deck is just I, I could play this all day. Oh, and definitely worth it. Welcome, one and all, to the midnight revel. Because we could use this with the grand plaza, <laughs> but I want to get some damage on him. We get a blocker as well. It does stop, like, the turn. Like, there is an argument for not developing Boisterous O's unless you're being pressured here. Because now if we draw into the, uh, the other thing... Come in, come in. I think I'm just gonna open attack here first. Just get a little bit of more chip damage, as they probably are gonna be developing their 3-drop. Maybe Ribbon here? If they, uh, try to kill our host... Which would be very rude, but if they do, we can actually even glimpse back. I see no reason not to, really. If they pass, it's gonna be a little bit tricky, because uh, we're making them burn a lot of mana, but I don't know why they would pass unless they have something... Like, if they actually don't have anything, so we're gonna be dropping Grand Plaza no matter what. 
Because normally I've been inclined to make them burn mana, but this time they're only really burning one more mana than us, and uh, we benefit way too much from developing this this turn. Next round we can play this blocker. Heart and blade both broken. So we're playing the Grand Plaza. They could have Scorched Earth or Crumble. I don't. I don't know. But we're not playing around that shit. What a strange, wonderful world. We are the very soul of this celebration. I think I definitely want to jump block here. You're wearing that. Do I glimpse here? I think I do, or at least I try. Because that slows down her level up. And I get a hallowed death there, which allows us to. Nothing gets between me and my life. Get a stronger challenger going on here. Like, Quinn is good with Grand Plaza, even if it's a bit redundant with Valor. She's still, especially like with this hallowed mechanic. I'm cold, I'm hungry, and there's rocks in me boats. I'm sorry, who are you? Still heart, steady aim. I can definitely drag about like this. That's beautiful. That is actually beautiful. Quinn's level up is not an immediate priority. I was attack with this, but I'd rather preserve it as a blocker, honestly. Like, leveling up is nice, but I don't want to just like trade this into a, a Blade Squire. That just that ain't worth. We got the Eternal Dancers here. Please make yourself right at home. We got the Eternal Dancers here. I'm gonna pass for now. There is so much to see. Where do I start? At the beginning, madam. There's several options. Uh, I don't have a clear cataclysm here, though, unfortunately. The Eternal Dancer is like... Makes perfect. Can I take a hit like that from everything else? Another hallowed, like now, now they're getting more and more power. But now we can play the band. Now we can lead off the attack with Quinn. Just like hunting thresher geese, don't let them reinforce. No one escapes my aim. Valor! Valor! To me! Get that big hit off. Okay. Kill an ally to deal that and that. Mm. I mean, I kind of just want to let that happen, to be honest. Because it, it preserves my Valor. Like yeah, we lose we lose Quinn, but we still have the the Eternal Dancers here, and and the uh, the Cataclysm. We are the very soul of this celebration. Okay, so now let's let's think here. Man, I'm I'm having so much fun playing this. It's crazy. Like it's actually crazy. Oh my god, we got Quinn back. Oh my, oh my. I have to lead off with her. I have to lead off with her. Okay, so we do this. We drag you here. We trade you into you. No, actually, we don't need to even drag you. Because we drag... Oh my, oh my, oh my fucking god. What about dragging you here? Still not lethal by any means. So I'd rather preserve my board. Oh, oh. 
Bruh! <laughs> oh, that was glorious, dude! That was absolutely glorious. And now, we got Angry Woman. An Angry Woman can be resurrected. I mean, not right now, because we still need, like, uh, two more Hollow Deaths, but we're getting there. I'm going in. Bro, I'm going in. We strike now. We strike now, motherfucker. And hey, we'll get Quinn back. <laughs> That's why we play quit. All is as it should be. Yeah. All right, so we just upgraded because I just realized that I can get the Gwendal from the get-go. And we, 100%, unless we're trapped here. Get some cards. That's good. And more shards. We have like a trillion of them. That's fantastic. It's getting stuck there a little bit. It's like lagging there. But now we go back, and now we get the proper guardian in here. If I can find her. Gwen, where are you? Where are you, Gwen? There you are. My sweet, sweet child, there you are. All right. Now we're complete. Round three. All right. Evelyn Azir, though. Not Evelyn Kaisa, okay. Full mulligan. You know what we want? We want that plaza so we can dance in it. The dance plaza. We got units here, uh, you know, a bit of a late game sort of curve. Not really uh, ideal, but I'm completely fine with this opening hand as long as I draw a plaza by three. I, I'm optimistic. You know, I, I think I have a couple of turns in which, you know, I, I feel it's coming. At least, at least the one drop is. Yeah, let's actually pass for now. Though we probably want to be developing this, yeah. We shall sing, dance, and forget our woes. I think I'm, I'm just gonna go for this Quince Beyond, to be honest. I'm not gonna waste any time. The odds of us being able to disrupt that are not really great. We do find the strike up the band, but uh, we do not find our dear, dear Plaza. So we pass here. We got uh, we got Gwen, who works pretty well with Cataclysm as well. And uh, we got the strike up the band to set up some blockers too. It's not like we're being tremendously pressured here. Now, now we kind of are with this waking sands. They they smell blood, right? So maybe for right of negation here. Like that'd be kind of wild. Shurima, your emperor has returned. We're gonna play Gwen. I mean, I, I could I could block with Gwen, but I'm not gonna have her take any extra damage. And that's three hallowed deaths. And now I think it's very clear. Nothing gets between me and my mom. We go Quinn. No Grand Plaza, but we still got the game plan. We still got the challenger with Valor. Which allows us to trade into Azir while working for Quinn's level up. Okay, Challenger and Elusive. I shall need my tools. Took it fair and square. I wanna snip snip. And we're very close to that level up. You hear that, Gwen? We're getting there. What, what, what do you do for me? What is that? Oh, oh, that's beautiful. Gwen, that's that's great. Thank you. Okay, see, that's a huge threat. But that's exactly why we got you. We 
with the hallowed. Knock him out. Oh. One stitch at a time will make something totally new. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go, baby. All right. And now we can even like, we can even just like rally here. I see no reason not to, man. This is just way too good. Let's uh, go ahead and drag you. Actually, no, we will be drag. Yeah, let's do this. Because that means we drag that. Get that Quinn level up as well. And that's the coolest thing about this synergy. Like, I have this attack boost for the rest of the round, so I get to attack again. Oh! Oh, man, look at that shit. <laughs> How much is this shit? Oh, we got it! We got it, baby! Let's go! <laughs> oh man, I love this deck already. Every moment of this has been a joy. Yeah, tell me about it. Fiora! I, I, I cracked there. Fiora! <laughs> Nani. Well, for more, I mean, I may want to keep the Concerted Strike, to be honest. Because it is a mono Fiora deck, right? So if we can answer Fiora, we're good to go. It's Shurima. I mean, Shurima has some neat, some neat tricks. But um, me right now. All right, another Grand Plaza. Grand Plaza into Grizzled Ranger feels pretty neat with uh, Spellman a backup as well. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Mm -hmm. I will cut you down. I could play you. I mean, this allows me to, to challenge this twice. You have more power right off the bat, though. Yeah, yeah. Nothing to hold me back. Here we go. I mean, quicksand is a thing. But if they do that, we glimpse. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, it works out. When we look ahead, we know how to. Mana is definitely not something I would have expect expected soon. But uh, yeah. They would fall by my blade. Mm. We are the very soul of this celebration. See what I've learned? You are interrupting. I would increase my hallowed, so I, I play that first. Demacian needs heroes. And now we play Quinn, and we have one more mana to develop the boisterous host uh, offensively this turn. But I, I just love this. I love this Grand Plaza Scout Hallowed Synergy. It's like a trifecta and it just like, it flows so well. Like my challengers are so strong every time. Okay. Okay, well that's, that's a no-no. That is a no-no. We get the plus two power, which allows us to trade into that. They get a little bit of a boost themselves, and what do we do? We just drag them with the boisterous host. Get 
because we got Grand Plaza and Grand Plaza value is Dutit! And that's Fiora, number two down. <laughs> we got the formal invitation here, which we can use to just, you know, because we have a very spell dense hand, right? But that's going to change. Oh, I mean, we just drew Quinn, though. <laughs> it doesn't get better than Quinn. But I mean, they lost two Fioras. They have one left. We have like a bazillion cards. So I, I, I get it. I was having a lot of fun, but I get it. You just move on to the next one. <laughs> All right, <laughs> it's Osbando and Waifu. The sexiest deck in Legends of Terra history. All right, let's see, we're gonna drop these three. We got the Grand Plaza, so for once, I can start off the match by saying, you know, we, without saying the Grand Plaza thing, I just derp there. We got Boisterous, so, okay, so because we're attacking, we're attacking on four, which means we can play Plaza into this. Yeah, we're gonna drop one of them. We shall sing, dance, and forget our woes. Join us. I do want to keep the other one uh, for the challenger. Hey, no shadows in here, friend. All right, good stat line here for what we got going on. Quick attack too. Well, ain't that annoying? Busy tonight. I guess we just take the hit. I mean, it allows us to turn into you. A bit underdressed. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna block here just to get the hallowed. Let's go. May as well go double plaza. Straight into Phantom Prankster for free. I mean, we're always gonna take that attack, right? <laughs> okay, now we got Strike Up the Band. Um, we do have the ability to combine that with Golden yeah, Aegis, potentially. You're wearing that. I'm still gonna be trading this, though. You'll just leave. I'll leave. Yeah, we just... We just... Don't really got anything going on here. We need we need some more units. Oh boy. I kind of want them to, to do something to one of these units, like try to vile feast me or something. I, I need to like react with this glimpse beyond. My opponent doesn't know like how my hand is, but it's definitely like very clustered. Alright. I mean, I kind of need to do this. I have to try to cycle through my deck. Like, I, I can't, like... That's more like it. That's more like it. I, I, I need some actual substance. This is a chance for me to leave my mark. What a joy! Oh, that's huge. Instant level up. Wow. No Alright. I probably should, I should have attacked. No, I could have attacked the other way around. Like, they, they get the health gain anyways because I, I needed her to have the more power so she levels up. But I could have challenged the uh, the other way around to prevent the, the health gain. <laughs> what? Daddy? Daddy. Oh my god, all right. Bruh. Bruh. Maybe they don't open attack here? Oh, thank goodness. Oh my god, Vile Mob, what the fuck? This prey doesn't quite have it to trade it to the Vile Mob, but at least you do. Okay, wow. Must be nice. 
Okay, spell shield. Um, what about if I what if I golden agus here? I mean, conductor of mist also does well, right? Conductor of mist makes it so that I can I can trade into Viego no problem. A waltz for the lady. I know just the piece. How did you know I love to dance? Okay. I can block you into you. I can block you into you and I can block you into you. They're low now though. Viego is obviously threatening, but we have the ghastly band. We got these cataclysms that could just be absolutely brutal. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, fuck. That's exactly what I, I can't see because the the rest of my hand like purely depends. I ha I have to make use of this. Doesn't matter. Like I gotta kill Viego no matter what. No, 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 no. no. Just can I? Can I just? Done, yeah. All dolled up and nowhere to go. That sucks, dude. What a lucky draw for them. I think that was a top deck. I'm pretty sure that was the case. You've got to be kidding me. All right, can we can we draw into some man? Oh my god, bro! I just need a Gwen. I just need a Gwen, and I easily win this game. But. I can't believe I'm drawing so many spells. What the hell? I command you. Now Viego doesn't quite level up yet. Was hoping you'd stop by. She's been missing you. Huh? She? Maybe I'll satisfy her craving. Uh, please, please, give me a unit, please. Oh my goodness. Today, another leader desperate to lose control. Nothing new. <laughs> Wish I had like overwhelmed with them shit. I can always concert a strike. Okay, so you when you when you when you summon a, a random husk, like I, I have like the perfect setting. I just need to draw units. Like that's my my problem here. Okay, uh, I have the tools. I'm not gonna die to this attack. I shouldn't. Oh, okay, that's what I'm talking about. Was hoping you stop by. She's been missing. Is she? Maybe I'll satisfy her cravings. See what's in this right. See what's inside. Oh, them top, them top decking the Evelyn is pretty good, but we do have Concerted Strike. We do have Concerted Strike. We can't Concerted Strike and uh, Cataclysm, but we have just enough. When they scream.
insert it here, preventing that husk from being developed at the end of the round. I'm so happy to see the turtle dance just did. And there's no reason not to play this. Like this fading icon is actually nutty. Ain't no shadows in here, friend. Don't waste my time. Spell shield, huh? Now we're talking. I will find someone. Let me drag you. Let me drag you. Let's go with this. Oh, <laughs> wait, what? It's happening immediately. Okay, that's great. <laughs> I know that look. Oh, man, this game was so frustrating. Like, I had too many spells. Maybe I need to tone down the spells a little bit. I don't know. I mean, it's the first attempt, right? Is that like... How, how much is... Jesus Christ, okay. That works out. Man, killing off my my Gwen was brutal there. But we got a lore friendly Gwen snips Viego, and we take it. What a bat, dude! What the hell? Oh man, I love this deck though. I love this deck. 